because the property of natural log, it's a log base E, and we use that one a lot, and we use what's called the common log, which is log base 10. And so remember that the relationship, the relationship between the two is log base B of X equals Y. can be written as b to the y equals x. Okay, so that's the relationship between the two. And so if we look at example number one out of our textbook, we have um, 20 raised to the one half, or I mean times the one half raised to x over three equals five. And so when we look at this, um, when we look at this, there's a lot of ways that we can solve it, but the problem with solving this equation is that I've got this, this x value is up in the power of uh, this equation. So it's something raised to the x, right? Well, remember that the property of logs allows us to take powers and toss them to the front as... Um, a scalar multiplier. But normally what we would do, normally how we would solve this is I would start moving stuff away from the x. So I would divide both sides by 20. And I'd have 1 half raised to the x cubed. And then 5 over 20 reduces down to 1 fourth. Okay? So one technique that we would use is, is there a way that I could rewrite one-fourth as one-half raised to something? The answer is yes. <laughs> it's the first, it's Monday morning, it's like quarter to seven and no one's awake. All right, so we've got x to the third. Now, I could rewrite this as 1 over 2 squared, right? 1 half times 1 half equals 1 fourth, right? Um, so now, what, could, what, what, would, what do I have? I know that x over 3 should equal 2. So what I could do is, now that I've got this set up this way, Now that I've got this set up this way, I could say x over 3 equals 2, multiply this side by 3, multiply this side by 3, and I get x equals 6. So in this particular example, it was easy. We didn't have to uh, use the natural log or log base 10 or anything to solve. However, probably in example number 2, we won't be so lucky. Or I think it's example number 3 or 4. Does anybody have any questions about what I did there? So this is one way that we could solve an exponential function that has x in the power. Any questions? Okay, good. <laughs>